Hello, it's the day after Halloween. I took some pictures and videos at a party last night, so I'm going to throw a video together and I figured I'd show you how I'm working on it. Uh, first things first, I like to open or close. I like doing the intro and exits of my videos in Blender and I like to do, use the still photos for that. I have a little slideshow, but rather than just have a simple plain little slideshow, we're going to use Blender 3D and create something a little more uh, fun. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with my default scene. I'm going to add a plane here and I'm going to scale it up and then I'm going to add another plane and I'm going to scale it out on the x-axis about there. I mean, a little bit wider so it's about the size, it's the shape of a, of a still image. So next thing I want to do, I'm going to hit Z here and Z here to turn into wireframe mode. I find a lot of times it's easier to work in that way. I'm going to add now a uh, lace object, or not lace, lattice object, sorry about that. We're going to scale it up a little bit and then scale it on the x-axis in this top view so you can see it completely wraps around our flat plane there. And then we can scale it on the z-axis and make it flatter. We just want it to surround that flat plane. Uh, next thing we're going to do is going to edit mode for the lattice and we are going to add one more U, so three, and you'll see it adds another dividing line in the middle there. Now let's click on our plane and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode I'm going to hit K for cut, and I'm going to choose loop cut here. And you can see you have, you have a, a line here that I can cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up on my center mouse scroller, and you can see it adds lines, so I'm cutting this plane in multiple spots. When you get the number you want, about there, probably like six lines or so, you go ahead and click on it, and you can see it divided that plane up. You can now hit tab to get edit mode for there. And what we're going to do is now we're going to shift click, onto the lattice that we've added. We can now hit um, control P for parent, but instead of normal parent, we're going to choose lattice parent or lattice deform. What this does is now if we choose the lattice, we can hit tab to go into edit mode, and we can hit B and select that center line there that we added when we added the uh, third line to U here, the third point. And what we'll do is in the front view here, we'll grab on the z-axis and you'll see as we pull the, the center vertices up on the lattice, it's bending the, uh, the plane there. So we get a nice little curved plane. If we hit 12, F12 to render here, you'll see what it looks like. So we have this nice little curved plane, but you'll notice if I zoom in on it some, that it's not very smooth. The way we can easily fix this is now click back in here and get out of edit mode, so hit tab again and choose that plane, we're going to hit set smooth under the edit window. Now if we render it out, you'll see that it's a much smoother surface on the plane there. Uh, now that we've done that, what we can do is we have that selected, we can click make real here and then apply under modifiers. And at this point we can select the lattice and hit delete and it is now gone but our plane kept that curved little surface there. I'm going to hit G for grab and Z on the Z-axis and lower it down just so the edges touch that first plane we created, the background plane. And what I'm going to do in the top view here is I'm going to start Shift D and I'm going to rotate and I'm just going to create a few uh, clone copies of that plane. And you just want to do this the number of these you want to make is the number of photos you want to have in this opening little slideshow here. And just arrange them around uh, like you're scattering pictures on a table, because that's basically what we're doing here. And just kind of try to make it a little random. And if I have 12, you'll see what we're creating over here. So that's looking good. Let's uh, do a few things. First off, the background is still blue, which is the default. Let's change that. We'll go into shader mode or material mode here and choose our world button and we'll click the background blue color here and we'll drag that to black. Now if we render it out you'll see that the background is now black instead of blue. Now uh, what you can do is you can go on uh, Google and do a search for wood texture and do, do an image search and you can find lots of wood textures. I've already downloaded one. Uh, what I'm going to do now is with this background, the larger plane selected, I'm going to in material modes add a new material go to our texture button here and add new and under type I'm going to pick image then I'm going to go to load 
I'm going to go to where I saved that wood texture that I'm talking about, which is right here. And when I select it, you'll see a nice little preview of it here. It just looks like a wood plank. You can take your own picture of a piece of wood if you want. Um, and I'm going to package that in. So you just pick, click this little package button here. It's now added that image into the Blender files, so I don't have to worry about linking it later on. Now if we hit F12, you'll see that it now looks like we have a wood table with blank pi pictures scattered everywhere. So what we need to do is start adding photos. We're going to click one of these photos, add a material, add a texture, create, make it an image texture, go to where you have your images saved, and what we're going to start picking here, wrong folder, here we go, uh, I'm going to start choosing photos that I like, and you'll see little previews of them here, and I'll click on the next one, same thing, add a material, add a texture, make it an image texture, load an image, go to where you have your images saved, choose the next one. So now I've done that for two planes here. If we hit F12, you'll see what we're getting here. We got a table, and now we have photos on the table. Just to speed things along, you can go ahead and do that for all your pictures on the table here. I've already gone ahead and done that, so I'm going to just open up the project I already have that done in. If I hit F12, you'll see that I have now a table full of images from Halloween. So this is where